We're here, I'm on 42nd Street for a very, 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 very special episode. Uh, Christina could not be here, so she said, oh, will you help me host a show? And I said, you get a car! So here I am. Um, it's cold outside. I haven't been to New York City in a long, long time, but here I am hosting this show for you. Um, I have to say, I, I, I get the chills. Um, not only because it's, it's cold outside, but also I get the chills because I think about how 42nd Street has changed tremendously! Uh, look, look, just look what I'm talking about. There is a McDonald's across the street. There is a Mary Poppins! And there's also a Madame Tussauds and Spider-Man turn off the dock at the Foxwood Theater. So, I think about how 42nd Street has changed tremendously. It used to be a neighborhood full of crime. A neighborhood full of illegal behavior. But we have a solution to that. Spider-Man is here to save the neighborhoods. To save 42nd Street. And here he is. So here we are in the theater. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater. It looks like they're actually preparing for the show. Uh, I used to act myself. I was in a movie called The Color Purple where I had the most famous line, and that was, you told Hoppo to beat me. I wish I had that opportunity to do that in a theater, but Sometimes life guides you in different, different directions and you have no idea where you're going, but you just go with it. So, here I am just enjoying the opportunity to be inside of a Broadway theater. This week was a very interesting week for Spider-Man. The E! Network came in and conducted a couple of interviews, and we celebrated a very special birthday! So what you're going to see is behind-the-scenes footage and also a couple of interviews from cast members. Matthew James Thomas! He plays a Peter Parker Spider-Man alternate and also performs in the matinees. Michael Mulheron! He plays a Daily Bugle's J. Jonah Jameson. Patrick Page! He is the villain of Spider-Man, the Green Goblin. Rebecca Falkenberry, she plays the red-headed cutie, Mary Jane, and Reeve Cuddy, Spider-Man himself. Hi, how are you? I'm Michael Mulher, and I play J. Jonah Jameson here at Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark, our abnormally long show title, and this is my humble abode here at the Foxwoods Theater. Unlike every other Broadway theater I've worked in where everything's upstairs, we're down in the basement here, so we kind of think of ourselves as Chilean miners. I'm Rebecca Volkerbrey, I play Mary Jane in Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, and this is my dressing room. Oh, wait. Da, 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 da. Da. This is my Spider-Man wall. We have all my Mary Janes in the forefront. She is pretty buster, if you can see. We don't have those costumes in the show because we are family friendly. Oh, this is me when I'm seven years old and Annie, my very first show in Bermuda. I was a little orphan. I was Molly. <laughs> Thanks for seeing my dressing room. I have to go hang in the air now and sing a song. Hi, my name is Matt and I play uh, Dodger in uh, Oliver. <laughs> no, I play. That's the worst joke I've done. I play Spider Man, Peter Parker in. Uh, uh, what's it called? Spider Man, Turn Off the Dark. And I just landed for my final flight. And it's my birthday! Woo! Matthew James Thomas! 24 years old! Whip, whip. Matthew James Thomas! So we just had an extensive tour backstage, through the sets. Um, this is quite a production. What is this like for you as an actor um, who's been on Broadway um, numerous times? How is this production different for you? Well, it's different for everybody because it's the biggest show ever done on Broadway by some degrees. 
Congratulations. The success on this show is, of course, due a lot in part to you and how fabulous oh. you are. Oh my gosh, I don't know about that. That's nice to say, though. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone's saying it back here, right? which is what a joy you are to work with. Oh, really? Um, yeah. That's good. We've I want to thank you for tuning in, and I also want to encourage you to visit my website, oprahsbookclub.com, where I just finished reading the most extraordinary piece of literature. It's called The Amazing Spider-Man, and boy, was it amazing. It was inspirational and uplifting. So if you don't have yourself a copy, go get one.